listen, here's what I'm calling about. Uh, um, I've been getting information for a little while. I've been digging into something. Is uh, Maybe it's because people are trying to get back at you because they think you're doing something you didn't do. I don't know. But the, about me? Yeah, the word on the street is that you're involved in a, in a homicide. No way. That's crazy. Yeah, they're saying that you killed Jeffrey Wallace and dumped the body up there by your house. Yeah. Nope. Wrong. I was interviewed by the state police. I told them my phone records. Uh, actually, I was out in Mountville all night long ride with Randy that night on our bikes. Okay. Uh, I told the police, I said, uh, you can verify uh, my whereabouts by my phone and by my computer because I was home on the computer. And and I, uh, I went up to the state police barracks. They interviewed me for 45 minutes. I told them I'd give them a lie detector test. And I showed them my hands. They wanted to see if I was physically marked up. And that's the furthest from the truth. How soon, how soon did they do that after the after the homicide, after the uh, body was found? I don't know. Like a right, weeks. a couple weeks. A couple weeks. And you were in Mountville riding with Randy. I was in Mountville all that night. Yes, riding with Randy. Yes, I I, I looked at my phone bill since then, and I have verified with myself that if they call me for my phone bill, they could see that I was in Mountville. Uh, actually, I think I was in Mountville in, and I went over some some girl's house, and then I went home, and I was on the computer. Mm -hmm. and, and home's in Conestoga, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you were, that's nowhere near where the body was found. No, it was, no. It was, so I why do you think his car was in your back of your driveway that night? The car was parked in my driveway, yes, of a house that I sold 30 days ago. Yeah, why, what was he doing there, do you think? Do you think he was smoking crack in the house because he knew it was empty or something? No, I don't think so. Think you, any idea why he was there? I don't know. No idea. Why do you, now they say that this uh, Bill Plank was uh, involved. Was he with you that night with Randy? No, no. I think, I think that, I think that I saw Bill Plank a couple days later. Yeah. And, and, and this guy's girlfriend was laying in his bed, in Frankie's bed. That girl, Lori, Lori, what's her name? Lori. Lori, uh, the, the guy that got killed, his name is... Oh, Wallace. Yeah. Jeffrey Wallace. Jeff Wallace. His girlfriend is named Lori uh, Slick. Slick, S L I? Yeah. She's she's a, her her father's like an ex a state cop or an ex uh let's say I'm here down to South or something. Slick. S L I C K. F, but, uh, F is in F is in Frank. Yes. Yes. But uh no, I have nothing to do with that and I I can tell that anybody is anybody. Interesting, that's interesting. And so Lori Flick is, and, and just saying, Lori Flick was then with. Uh, oh, well, she was in Flanky's bed, right? And I, I called Flanky. I said, "Yo, man," I said, "I said, check this out, right?" I said, "The cops want me to go down and talk, talk to them about this murder, right?" Right. And he, and he told me, "Both oh, the girls in my bed sleeping right now." So I went into this fucking house and asked her. I said, "What the hell is going on?" Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, "She said she didn't know, right? She actually, she was sleeping, right?" And, right. Uh, right. All groggy. So I didn't really, I didn't really talk to her because, I don't know, I didn't have no, uh, no reason to talk to her, you know? Right. So I asked her what the hell was going on. And then she left and, and started saying shit about me, Frankie, right? Like about, I was a snitch, a cop, or whatever, you know? Okay. And, and, I don't, I don't know. So do you think Planky killed him or was trying to stick it to you? No. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Planky never said nothing to me about it. I called Planky and told him, I said, I said, uh, what the fuck's going on? And he mm -hmm. said, I don't know. I said, why does the state cops want me to come in and see him? I said, I don't know. I said, what the fuck, you know? And I went in and told the state cops. No big deal. Mm -hmm. you know? I looked at my hands. Uh, they asked me if I knew him. I met him once or twice through G, George, uh, Seattle. Right, right. And uh, I don't know. You know. All right, listen, I get back to work. Hey, take care, man. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. What's that? Yeah, I had uh, had a chat with him. Did you? Yeah, he's uh. Well, he, you know, he denies anything to do with anything, of course. Denying? He's lying his ass off. Yeah. Hold a second. Let me get to where I can hear you here. So what did uh? See if I can hear you here. What did he tell you? What did he tell me? Yeah. Got him and talked to him. Who told you? What he did? Yeah, well, who told you what he did? He's the only one who could have done it, man. No other way. He's the only one who could have done it? Yeah, I know. How do you know? And so did Planky. 
Frankie talked about it too. He came and uh, questioned me. He came to me and uh, asked me what he should do. He came and asked you what he should do. Yeah. How he long? Go, how long after the body was found was that? Uh, not long. Cause they questioned Kenny, and then uh, they got that. They got that on tape. That he called me. Both of them. They got it on tape. That both of them called me. They got on First tape. Day. Kenny and Planky calling you and asking you what to say. Asking me what. They didn't ask, the one time Kenny asked me if uh, he was at, at Planky's house that night. Cause me and him went out somewhere. We went up to Mountville drinking. Yeah. And when we left Mountville, I came home. And he went. He went to dude's place the night it happened. He went to Planky's. Yeah, I'm not discrepancy about drugs. They were doing something with drugs, you know, and somebody wasn't happy about something. Yeah, there wasn't. There was wasn't a happy deal going on, right? Right, right. So he came back dissatisfied with the quality per se. Right. Maybe that might have been one of was quality, money, whatever. So. Quality, quantity, whatever. Cut. Right, right. So he shows back up at, at Kenny's, but I think they're trying to cover for him because they want him to fucking. He's part involved in this thing with me. Right. You know, he's he's been telling about all these people. So you think he's working with the drug task force? Yeah, uh, I know he is. It's most certain. I mean, yeah. I don't have it on proof, but I mean, he's, that's, how, that's how I got it. That's how right. I got burned. So because of that, you think they're letting him go on the homicide? They're, they're covering him for it. Right. I think. Right. I could be wrong. I don't know. You but know Planky... I mean? seems like to me. So, but they got Planky talking to you on the phone, asking you what to do about it. Yeah, they got him and, and Kenny. At the different times or at the same time? Different times. And that was within a couple of days of when the body was found. Yeah, because uh, Kenny told me then that uh, they wanted to talk to Planky. After they talked to him, right? they wanted to talk to Plank. Right. So they talked to Kenny first, and Kenny told me that they wanted to talk to Plank. And Plank called me and told me that, you know, that he, he was aware, apparently, that you know, somebody wanted to speak to him, and he asked me what to do. Right. And did he, did he, he didn't necessarily admit that he'd done it. No, neither one of them did. But they, right. But did, you know... Uh, when did he tell you that? When he came to see me after that, after he called me on the phone. They have it on tape. Oh, what, right after he called you on tape, or after they called you and he got it on tape, then he came to see you at the garage or something? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, now you know Kenny's using you as an alibi. No, he ain't. Yeah, he is. He wasn't with me. He told me you guys were out all night at the Mountville. And then he, no. went, then he went home and played no. on, his, then he was on his computer. That's not correct. So he, he gave me the impression, you, and you went to some girl's house. You go to some girl's house that night, too? Yep. So as far as you know, last time you saw him was at the Mountville. Or yep, when, we split, we, when we left the Mountville, we split up. And is that midnight, after midnight? I'm not certain exactly when it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was probably before midnight because it was cold out here. It was, it was, we were riding bikes. Right, right. And it, was, it hadn't been before midnight because it had been too cold. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was cold. What the hell you wanted to stay out all night doing that, right? Because yeah, it was like February or March or something, wasn't it? And now I understand that the DEA came down and had a chat with you down there. Yeah. Did, did they uh, mention my name? They like me? Yeah, they, they, they showed me a picture of you. Is it a good picture? They said, who's this guy? I said, these guys going to get you in trouble if you fuck up. Well, what is it? What'd you say? I told you, these guys going to get you in trouble if you fuck up. <laughs> I'm the guy going to get them in trouble if they F up. <laughs> so, did they seem to know who I was? They didn't know, apparently. Cool. That's good. Well, they know now. <laughs>